Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the hair experience. What we talk about here is hair replacements, hair systems, bonding it, cutting it, cleaning it, installing it, maintaining it. Makes me want to dance when I say that. And a life with it. Subscribe below. It's super important to me. I'm Curtis. I'm here to help you get through all these questions and all this stuff that we got going on with hair systems. Um, MyHairExperience.com. You'll find the ebook is available. The video ebook is available. FAQs are available. All the videos are available. 20% off coupon is available on the website. It's also down in the description, myhairexperience.com. Get to it, Curtis. What are you talking about today? I got a little list here. I, I get asked the same questions a, a lot, over and over again. And, and it's okay. It's cool. That, that's what the FAQs are for. That, that's what the website is for. But I'm going to touch on a few of the, the questions that I get asked an awful lot and, uh, and really push people to the website, to the FAQ section to, to be able to look at those things and, and see them whenever you want to. Um, first, we're going to start off, how do I pick my color? I've done a video exactly about this. Um, it's really in-depth to explain. Um, picking color is, is, I say it's in-depth, it's fairly easy. One, you can get a color swatch or a color wheel. It's got the hair around it. I did a very detailed uh, video about this. Go to the FAQ section on MyHairExperience.com and there's a link to that video that will teach you exactly how to pick your color. I get asked, how do I get mine right all the time? Well, it's once you get your color down and you use the same distributor, you shouldn't have a problem with having your hair color be right from then on. How do I find a stylist or a barber? I did a video on this one too, but I'm going to touch on it. Um, when I ventured into this journey, I did it in South Florida and Fort Lauderdale and there were people everywhere. Um, there were people everywhere that offered this service. Well, I moved back to the panhandle of Florida, up in the north part of Florida, and there was no one that offered this service. So I Googled it. I Googled how do I, uh, I Googled hair replacement near me, or hair systems near me, and I Googled it, and nothing came up. One shop that was closed down, and one lady didn't do it anymore. And I was like, well, that's freaking great, so what do I do? Curtis? I drove around and I drove around and just went to the higher end salons that females use that do extensions and things like that. And I asked, I said, Hey, are you guys willing to take this on? And I got like four or five no's and then a salon directly across the street from my house. A girl said, yeah, I've been to the school. I've never done it before. Let's give it a try. That's when I had to learn to put it on myself. She did the cut in. It's worked perfectly ever since. But guys, when you're going to use the terms barber and there's no, okay, there's no master cuts. There's no, um, there's no inexpensive place that you go to to try to get this done. You don't want somebody that doesn't have experience in extensions or something like that. That, that You want somebody with some experience, guys, that'll do this cut in for you because it's not like a barber cutting regular hair. It is human hair, don't get me wrong. But it's not exactly the same. There's some blending and fading and things like that. There's some razor cutting to try to get the, the, the hair to blend with yours, etc. So make sure you find somebody that's qualified. Don't just show up at Walmart at Supercuts and ask them to cut it. It probably won't work. And that, make friends with your stylist, guys. Those people are a big deal in your life when you start this. So, so be nice, tip them well, make friends with your stylist, and they will treat you good. They'll learn together with you if they have to. A lot of these guys have a lot of experience, but maybe not in just this subject. So if you're good to them, they're going to learn for you and help you through the process because they want to better their career as well. And it's possibly something they could do to be a revenue generator for themselves. Next, how long does it last? Anywhere from six weeks to six months. All of it depends on what kind of unit you get. Like if you get a poly unit like what I have, a super thin skin, you might get six weeks, which is what is quoted. But I get like three months out of mine, which is for, that's 12 weeks, that's double. But I take care of my unit. I use quality hair care products on it and shampoos, conditioners, things like that. If you get a French lace unit, um, which is going to be a more sturdy unit, which I've done videos on just these things. So search back through those videos or hit the, the FAQ box on my, my website. It'll show you exactly how long each unit lasts. A French lace might last you six or eight months, but you're not going to want to use a French lace if you're going to want an exposed hairline like mine. So just check that FAQ section. And I'm going to keep reverting back to that because that's pretty important. How long does my natural, my bio hair need to be? At minimum three to four weeks, guys. And that's going to be for a really short top or a disconnected undercut like what I started with. My hair on the sides has been growing 
up here before the unit, my hair is probably four inches long now. And it blends well because of that. <clears throat> but the hair had to grow. I mean, that's a year and some change worth of growth, like a year and three months worth of growth to get it there. So um, it's going to take a while, at minimum four weeks, guys. That's really what you're looking for. And then it's going to have to be blended big time. It's going to have to be a shortcut up top, as short as you can get it. Um, I've got how long does it last written down twice. Because <laughs> that's always like the main question I get. Um, and like I said, the, the la <coughs> my throat is still itchy, guys. I'm sorry. The time that it's going to last has a lot to do with you. Big time. I mean, if you're going to take care of the unit, it's going to last you quite a while. If you're going to be gentle with it and things like that. And when I say gentle, I, I'm, I'm not talking about your day-to-day -day life of what you do. So some of that plays into it as well. But what I'm really focusing on is the hair care products that you use and how you brush it and how you treat it with a hair dryer. Low to no heat. You can blow dry it just on that medium setting or no heat. Um, and uh, <coughs> Oh my God, guys, I'm sick. Sorry, I've been sick this year quite a bit. Anyways, um, and that's what I really got on that subject. You're going to use a wide bristle brush with nylon tips on it. So uh, myhairexperience.com forward slash FAQ. There's so much information that you can read down through there. There's probably 30 or 25 different commonly asked questions. And also just search back through this video, guys. I mean, just search back through the videos. You can actually go onto my page and then type in, like, if you're curious about color, there's a search box up there. Type color. Or whatever you think your question is, type one of those main words into that, and more than likely you're going to get a video to reference it. I'm here to help you guys. That's what the ebook is for and the video ebook as well. And I'm grateful for you guys who have bought it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Starter kit's also available. Get you all this stuff at home so you can do it on your own. Get your unit for less than 200 bucks. Another thing, <clears throat> I get uh, an FAQ one that it's not, I didn't write down. Why should I spend, I had a guy ask me, why should I spend $2,500 on a unit? Guys, you shouldn't spend $2,500 on a unit. You shouldn't spend anything with a thousands, four zeros, or three zeros behind it at all. You should not spend that money. Period. It's just that simple. One unit can be better than the other, yes. But it's like saying that, you know, I have a, I don't know, I have a really nice Toyota Camry, let's say. Fully loaded Toyota Camry. It's a great car. It's going to last you a long time. It's going to treat you well as long as you treat it well. Or I could buy this Range Rover, let's say. <clears throat> um, you know, the expensive one. Both of them are going to treat you well. One's going to cost a ton more than the other, but the same end result is going to be the same end result. You know, if you're, and, and even that one, I mean, if I compare a Toyota Camry to a Range Rover and I say that one's going to be a better quality than the other, it's really not. Might you get another four weeks out of a thousand fifteen hundred dollar unit? Maybe. It all depends on how you treat it. Or maybe not. Guys, just remember, 95 so maybe even 98% of these things are made in factories in China. It's not talking bad about anybody, not by any means. There's a lot of stuff. My iPhone's made in China. It works great. They're hardworking people, but just remember that they're paying a very small price for something and just marketing it and marking it up and up and up and up to make their pockets fatter. Keep that in mind, guys. None of those things should cost that much money. That's what I got today, guys. I'm not going to do anything on the outfit today. Um, I'm just going to do it in every other video. But subscribe below. It's super important. I hope this video has great information to help you. And we're going to keep pressing on making videos. So thanks, guys, and have a great day.